Uh, doctor, I have an, another question uh, regarding the Islamic NGOs around the world. We have seen the very, very few e examples which are role model for others. The majority, I would say, like systems, governance, and uh, they have not been able to make a bigger impact on alleviating the sufferings of people around the world, you know. And uh, so, henceforth, they are not considered reliable or credible organizations. So my question is, what is your advice for all Muslim institute and organization and particularly charitable charitable organization? First of all, they have to understand that such organization is not a family owned. It's not a clan club. It's not a jama'at organization. It's not a group organization. It's a complete organization. It's a society organization. It's public. Nobody has the right to bring his son or his daughter or his wife to such an organization. Because it's not private family. It's number one. Which will, this will lead us to governance, not good governance. This will lead us to accountability and transparency. This will lead us to how to make successive leadership program for successive leadership and succession program for the people. This will lead us to be able to be accountable not only to the government, to the people that we claim that we are serving, to the donors, to the employees, and to anyone else. This is number two. Number three, we found recently the financial growth of most of the Muslim charities going like rocket high. This gives them arrogance of not learning and staying complacent what they do because it brings the money but money is not everything the amount of arrogance that we are facing nowadays from the growing the fast growth of the organization tell them making them to be isolated from the others and not to believe in the collectives the more you grow financially or sectorially or geographically the more you need to bring like, the collective together but you cannot afford to be uprooted by others okay, because you'll be like a bamboo shoot or it'll be like a sugar cane shoot which anything can break your, your back so the health that the growth will not be healthy as you think so this kind of growth give us arrogance the last point which I want to talk about is the ego. Now people fight for the ego and the look more than they fight for the needs of the community. And you sit down amongst a handful or a dozen of those charities and they will fight for where the love should be put if you are having something to do. The ego, the logo, and the last but not least, is still extremely traditional. Because we found that most of the money can bring, the cost of the project can bring money to us, is a traditional one. For these five or six points, the Muslim charities are not progressing very fast. Thank you.